happy Monday evening, boys and girls. Welcome back to Cooking on the Rim. My name is Quish. And as expected, we're going to play some more Rim World. Well, chat is all, all visible and stuff. Got to get that nasty background out of here. Let's take care of that. Bingo, bango. Look at me like a professional. How's everybody doing today? And of course, we're going to go back to uh, the Monday Night Wars. Old WCW action. Cold War bought a house. Nice, dude. Nice. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. We got a... Uh... Imperial Traders. Oh, Tribute Collectors. Gotcha. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of dead bodies. That's gross. Digiman threw out your back. Oh, that sucks. Back pain is like... I mean, obviously it hurts, but it's a hurt you can get used to. It's just super annoying. Sucks to hear, man. Night out, it's too warm. Working outside all day. Yeah, I get you. I get you. All right, well, let's see what we got going on. I think, uh... We got people on the, on the way back from a, uh, from a mission. On oh, the relic. The relic is nearby. It's an ancient structure protected by a multi-unit security system. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's get everybody back to back to base. Knee see the night out, your knees have gotten considerably worse. Knee pain is another bitch, that's for sure. Man, kind of gross outside. Blood stains and gut worm vomit. Gnarly. It's, tr it's true, Diggs. You are only as old as your knees. So I mentioned last week that uh, a couple of weeks ago I hit uh, my 52nd episode of Cooking on the Rim, which is uh, 52 weeks and a full year of Cooking on the Rim, which is pretty cool. Um, and I wanted to do something special to kind of like celebrate it. And what I'm going to do is take everybody and the ox on a camping trip. Uh, so I needed 52 people to go on this camping trip with me. Uh, now, I have the wheel, the wheel of names. There's a lot of names here. Uh, a lot of people are on this list that have been waiting to get in the game for a while, and this is going to be an opportunity to uh, get everybody going. Um, so if you want to be in on the next, uh, the next playthrough, uh, a big playthrough, then you can uh, get on the list. Looks like the blue gentleman wants to get on the list. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure he's there. Oh, we got a few more jumping in. Gentlemen, 
Digiman 619, Castus 223, KLAELJ Janus, Kill Janus, Kill Janus, who's Janus? She like your boss? Master Mayhem 117, WBPL 76. <laughs> 76, there we go. Uh, win list. Sir Shaggyo. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm assuming uh, WBPL 76 is going to be Mr. Diggs. All right, let's save that. Um, However, in addition to the wheel... Uh, if you're a member of the Ox, which if you're not and you'd like to join, I'll put that in the chat there for you. Uh, if you're not in the Ox and you'd like to join, hidden in a thread in the Building Games uh, channel, I've opened up a, a little sub-thread, and if you want to make sure that you're involved with it, you can just uh, type your type a message in there, and we'll, we'll get you involved as well. So, going to be a big game, should be fun. Uh, hopefully my processor does not melt in in the in the process of it. That that, that, was, that was kind of a kind of a joke. Um, security threats activated in two point one days. That's not cool. Uh, we have a we have a camel. Uh, let's see. We do a caravan hitching spot. We don't really have a place for animals. Uh, are you actually decent with animals? Look at that. Yeah, go ahead and get him roped in. Got a mad donkey. Got a dead donkey. But yeah, should be fun. Uh, I don't often do like big, uh, big games like that. Um, so it should be kind of fun. Far away is the squad. Let's go to the kind of costumes and stuff we can make. Like a vicious vi visage mask. Make that all sorts of stuff. Make it out of uranium. Let's make a... Yeah, we got plenty of uranium. Oh no, the Toxin crew. What's up, Rimward? Oh man, they got clubs. They got guns. Uh, let's make sure... Way stays inside. Oh no, oh no! Your poor feats. Your poor feetses. I 
she made it out of wood. I thought I, I thought I'm told to make it out of uh, uranium. Oh well, I guess wood it is. All right, so the crew's back. We're gonna let everybody get rested up and healed, uh, and then we'll go after the belt. Oh, is he the new, uh, let's see. Yeah, Silver Samurai is the commissioner. Powder Monkey is the referee. Uh, I'm going to have trouble pronouncing your name. I'm going to say Zuvakish. Zuvakish? I'm bad at pronouncing uh, most words. Um, is it uh, possible to just have a whole brigade of wrestlers with Power Ranger, with Ranger Power Armor Suplex, anyone who gets too close to the combat? We do have a couple of different uh, cool melee abilities. I think it depends on who's learned them. Silver Samurai is in a berserk because his wife died. He's going to start attacking people, which means... Uh, we're going to have a... We're going to have a backyard brawl. Oh, he's got a knee strike. The ultimate whacker has got, uh, got a special attack. And he's dead. Well. Huh. Huh. Okay, well, um, Wacker, if you could, uh, okay, unfortunately, all of my guys are really good at melee, <laughs> so that's kind of how that goes. So yeah, uh, uh, Zuvashik, we have, uh, we have various mods on that are allowing us to do cool wrestling moves, although we haven't unlocked a lot of them. The only one who's really good at, at wrestling moves is the ultimate whacker. Uh, so I guess that means Powder Monkey is going to be the new, um, new commissioner. All right, let's have a memorial. Yeah, there are some bones that you definitely need in order to survive, that's for sure. Um, head bones are pretty important. All right, so they had a good memorial, which is cool. At least that'll offset some of the, the mood penalty. Witness to death with bloodlust. Okay. 
killed. Oh, he actually got a plus twelve mood boost from killing. Uh, <laughs> from killing silver. Oh man. She's a little upset because Silver Samurai died, and they were they were engaged. Zoo, okay. Zoo, zoo sounds good. We'll go with Zoo. Yeah, people are a little uh. Wearing a tainted parka. Oh yeah, that's right. He's he's wearing a tainted parka. Um Get him to put this one on. There he goes. Oh, he looks like a cool badass. Oh, they're having a party. Bron McSlab beef is gonna make everybody happy by giving him a party. Oh, we still got this thing. Powder Monkey is going on a tantrum. Let's see if we'll make a uranium one. Uh, yeah, this camel's gonna die if we don't do something with it, right? Because there's really no food for it to eat. It's freezing cold outside. Just learn about Super Show, the game, the wrestling over-the-top card game. Okay, cool. I've played a handful of wrestling card games in the past. Let's, uh... Take this mask off. And once Powder Monkey's healed up, I think we're going to make a run for it. Oh, nope. Whacker. We're, uh, we're saving those masks for a special special project. Super secret. All right, let's make sure everybody has. Why did you take your hat off? Okay, uh, she has a gun. He needs a weapon, and he is actually better at shooting. Um, do we have a gun? We have Molotov cocktails. Uh, I guess we'll give him the other mace here. We'll give Whacker the the better, the plasteel knife. Worker lending. Uh, needs extra hands for th for 14 days. I read 13 years. It's like, he wants to keep a colonist for 13 years? He'll give us a child instead? No. No, thank you. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to... Um, we're going to leave the base slightly unprotected for a little bit. I think we're going to be fine for as long as we're going to be gone because we've got the uh, the traps and whatnot. Um, everybody's got a weapon. So we're going to send everybody off on a quest. Pretty 
We're gonna go get the belt. And we're gonna send the full squad. Bring rice and medicine. Apparently we can't bring the, the camel with us because he's not trained. So we're going to go ahead and send them on that trip. Um, but uh, while we're waiting, uh, I actually have to go take a quick bio break. So I'm going to leave you with a word from our sponsor and we'll be right back. Hey there, folks. It's me, Tom Tombadil of Wide Tom's Bean House. Come on down and try our never-ending bucket of beans. Only $14.99. I've got beans coming out the wazoo. We got bean salad, pork and beans, three bean casserole, jelly beans. But if beans aren't your fancy, we've got a full burger bar. Help yourself. Just $14.95 plus tax. Wide Tom's Bean House has a big old burger bar just for you. In addition to the burger bar, we also have a full liquor bar, as well as sports playing on every TV. Call toll-free at 888-WIDE-TOM to book your reservation at a restaurant near you today. Today, on the WBPS 76, what an half digs. Not again. <laughs> Follow Tom Tabadil, Diggs, and their loving son on all of their wacky adventures. Whoa! I think you were supposed to turn left back there, you nitwit. Oh, can it, woman? I know where I'm going. <laughs> Join us tonight only on WBPL 76 after the stream. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom Tombadil, owner and proprietor of Wide Tom's Bean House, located at 501 Monroe Street, Detroit, Michigan. Come on down for our annual Meals and Deals Savings event where you can score 15 pounds of beans to enjoy this summer. In addition to our core menu, this month and extended into next month, we will have a superb 18 layer bean dip, 6 bean casserole, navy bean soup, 7 bean chili, and our house special Los Frijoles Maximo. We won't send you home hungry, so stop on by today or make a reservation by calling 888-WIDE-TOM. Hey there, folks. It's me, Tom Chambadil, owner and proprietor of Detroit's highest-rated bean restaurant, Wide Tom's Bean House. I'm issuing a challenge to you to eat my five gallon pot o' beans in 50 minutes. If you can meet my challenge, your meal is free and you score some awesome new Wide Tom's Bean House memorabilia, as well as a $50 gift card. To encourage this challenge, we have upgraded our bathrooms to have as many toilets as our maximum occupancy per fire code. Only at Wide Tom's Bean House can you find as much fun as this. So come on down and try my challenge today.
everyone sorry about that had a little bit of a uh, delay getting back to uh, the game sorry if you missed me I'm back Oh, uh, double A insanity. It is almost time for Monday Night Nitro. We are, in fact, heading to Ric Flair's complex, his Malibu home in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're going to dig through his basement and we're going to find the big gold belt. And then we're going to have a championship bout. You know, Wide Tom's food truck would be pretty cool. They could do catering. Like, you wouldn't even need, like, any kind of food preparation. You wouldn't need refrigeration or stove or anything like that. Just have cans of beans. Oh, that thing's there. Okay, well, hopefully she'll still be there when we get back. All right, here we go. It's go time, folks. All right, so here's the ancient complex. And we can probably cheat. Question is, which side are they going to be on? Oh, there's security bots. Oh, we're going to have to... Uh, we got here got a scorcher the fuck is that a beam grazer oh my god oh we're gonna lose this fight bad oh no oh no get them guys get them uh Yeah, this is going to be bad. Oh no, everybody's on fire. Powder monkey, go get it. Oh no, everybody's on fire. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well dang guys I guess uh, Ric Flair's security system is a little bit more uh, high tech than we thought huh I guess that means that everybody's dead, right? Oh, no, no. Please, uh... Please, no, sir. I guess that means that everybody's dead, right? Except... Except... It was all a ruse. <laughs> you bumbling fools. You fell for it. Fell for the oldest trick in the book. Because little did you know, Silicon Badger was faking her death to test her husband's loyalty. And then her husband faked his death to test Powder Monkey's loyalty. And everybody failed. But now Silicon Badger, Silver Samurai, well... They've got the whole wrestling federation to themselves. And you know what that means? That means they're going to wrestle about it. 
That's right. So yeah, uh, that was a bad idea. Uh, that was way more secure than, than I think we could have handled. And those people are very, very dead. They were captured by the ancients. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, Poopy, uh, Turd Burglar, um, got sent off on an errand and never came back. I'm pretty sure that's what happened there. So, uh, looks like we're not going to have a heavyweight champion. Let's see who this guy is. He's a drifter. Uh, he's really good at shooting. He likes drugs. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. New visitor. Yeah, so the way that that was supposed to go was I was going to send them off to go get the championship belt. And then uh, he was going to, uh, like we were going to get it and come back with it. And then... Uh, the whole fake your death plot line was going to happen but that didn't happen because everybody died it was crazy uh, let's sell some stuff um, keep the Molotov cocktails we'll take the medicine Yeah, Poopy, uh, we sent him off with a bunch of bondage gear <laughs> to a nearby colony because they wanted it for uh, stuff, for reasons. And, um, oh, this this thing doesn't have a heater in it. It's probably why uh, nobody's growing in here. Yeah, uh, Turd Burglar is probably going to go start like ECW or something because he, he seems like more of like an extreme wrestling kind of guy. Wrestling was only a side gig. Really, he wanted he wanted to be an actor. That's for sure. Oh, that's right. Uh, we got this going on. Um, could you carry this animal to the shuttle, please? All right. Well, unfortunately, we fired all of our talent. Um... So that means we're going to need to uh, we're going to need to develop some new talent. Does she? Oh, no. They've all changed religions. 
Oh no, we're not wrestling anymore. What the fuck is this religion? Loyalist, collectivist, encouraged child labor. What the heck is this garbage? We venerate camels? Oh no. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we're not wrestlers anymore. All right. Here's the question. Uh, no, we can't keep a camel in here, guys. <sighs> With dev tools. Can I change religions? Uh... Ideal religion, add preset, removes preset. I guess that's it. I guess we're no longer, uh, we're no longer doing wrestling. We've decided to get out of the wrestling business and we're in the, uh, the actual colony business. Set idea. Okay, let's take a look at that. Is it actions? Hmm. Yeah, I can only set to ideologies that currently exist. got to be a way for me to fix this and I know exactly how to do it I know exactly how to do it it's by save scumming that's right everybody wrestling is fake none of this is real we are gonna save scum and just because we're save scumming doesn't mean we can't uh, still fake a death Ooh, cargo pods. Muffalo wool. Nice. Oh, there's the old debug log. Okay. I know while I was messing about there that several people uh, redeemed name and game. So let me go ahead and go back through the chat here. See who I missed. Okay, poopy dupe. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the wheel showing up here.
Scoopy Doopalicious. What else that I'm missing? Fortunately, I can't scroll up any higher. Oh, I see. Poopa doop iliosis. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. Bingo bango. All right, if I'm missing anybody, um, and you, you redeemed it, uh, oh, uh, Maze Hughes wants to be in. Uh, Maze Hughes. Oh, you don't have to keep redeeming Maze. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, man. Don't worry. If you uh, redeemed and I didn't see it, like just just post something in chat, just saying, "Hey, you did." I'll be happy to put you on there. All right, send the wheel back to the void. Powder monkey is pregnant, I think. Let's, uh, yeah, she is. She is pregos. So we need to uh, probably build like a baby crib. Uh, what do we need? Yeah, I'll do a crib. Put it uh next to mama's side of the bed. Maybe uh maybe a toy box. Put a toy box over on the other side of the room. With a, uh, with a horsey. There you go. Yeah, we don't, we don't really have a way of, uh, dealing with this. We're, we are just going to take care of that the old fashioned way. All it in, dude. Don't just 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 run away from it. Oh, poopy! If if it would if it bothers you that people add unnecessary syllables to your username, your your, your name has like a bajillion goddamn syllables in it. <laughs> it just it just rolls off the tongue like people just keep going. Poopy do Peleus. Poop poopy do Peleus. Poopy do Peleus. Okay. Alright, I'm I got it. I'm 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 on it now. But fair warning, I, I am very, very dumb, and I will probably mispronounce it again at some point. Uh Calif, if you could uh just do me a favor and uh bash that donkey's brains in thanks man <laughs> I'm sorry poopy I'm just gonna say poopy I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna make myself look more the fool because I'm quite the fool I'm a professional streamer, though. That's good, Poopy. I'm not trying to offend uh, offend anybody. I'm gonna blame my uh, 
I'm going to blame the American uh, education system for failing me in my reading comprehension. All right. You guys on your way back? Yeah, you are. Well, there's a raid. Get this guy. Oh, they're Neanderthals. Uh, more camels have decided to join. Um, they heard that there was a camel party. Uh, they were mistaken. Uh, yeah, yeah, Poopy, they, um, the Automod is gonna, uh, probably, it's not a bad word for sure. Um, it's, uh, the word Jewish. We'll go ahead and allow it. We'll, 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 we'll allow it. I think, uh, I think the, the reasoning for that is the people who use the word Jewish in a negative con connotation. Not for people who are actually of Jewish descent. All right, so they're they're starting their assault. Let's uh keep everybody inside for now. And oh man, dude went straight through them. It's true, it could have been the word stoner that the, the, the thing had a problem with as well. I don't know. I'm cool with it though. I'd rather the Automod be there and like keep people from saying dumb shit than, you know, have it like not be there and cause problems. Better have it not need it than need it not have it, right? All right, so what are some of the things that we uh, forgot that we needed? We need uh, a heater, put that in here. Um, and you know, we probably ought to build um, like some kind of actual pen. We just need to grow food for our animals. Um, so let's do a pen marker. Excuse me. Put that there. And we will Hey, Cookie Mama. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. And that being said, like, you know, I'm not a fan of, uh, he observed a rotting corpse. He's going to start punching holes in walls. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, uh, uh, you know, racism and all that. <laughs> I'm not a fan. It's not something that I'm into, you know? I'm kind of kind of happy if the auto mod is a little bit more judicious on eliminating that kind of stuff. Blackermans, what's up? You definitely did not die. You definitely did not die, and then I save scummed you back into existence. That did definitely did not happen. Samurais on a corpse obsession. Obsessed with his wife dying. But he didn't dig her up. He dug up uh, Chairman Meow. <laughs> okay.
security threats activated in two hours. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna start attacking us. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh well samurai, uh yeah, you're 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 widowed, you've got Powder Monkey knocked up. She's apparently not wanting to sleep in uh the bed with her her new fiance. Oh, uh, do we ever get those camels? Oh, <laughs> that would be why. Yeah, could, uh, no enclosed pens. All right, well, that's fine. We'll do, uh, do that. I guess we lost the other one. That's fine. Silver so Samurai is on an extreme break risk. But he has had a catharsis. His wife died. Oh, uh, yeah, we need to rebury the colonists that he dug up. Uh, Whacker, if you could, uh, be so kind as to bury that guy for me. There we go. All right, so now we got this set up. Let's um So we don't have a lot of wood, do we? We do have some steel, so we'll make a steel fence. Uh Do I not have like just regular fences? Happen to I guess um because of the uh the mods that I've got on I can't just build regular fences. Alright, we'll build a chain link fence. How's that? And uh We'll build a uh, an animal gate right there. Whacker's playing the harp. He's a musician. Who knew it? All right, we can delete that. 
Now let's make like a little, uh... Uh, let's see what we got here. What kind of stone do we got? Got sandstone, marble, we got, we got a little bit more sandstone, so let's do that. And we need animal flap, uh, animal flap. Then we'll make some animal beds. Then I think more importantly, going to need to smooth the surface. Uh-oh, she's due to give birth in six days. I can feed them baby food, milk, or insect jelly. I can make baby food at a stove or camp campfire. I guess I gotta make some baby food, right? So we'll put an electric stove in here. We do have camel milk. We do have camel milk, so we should be all right. Um, we're gonna need to put a heater in here. Um, that and then we will put in we're probably going to need some more steel Something like that. Okay, temperature's starting to warm up in here. Uh, we are out of components. So let's get, uh, oh man, there's a ton of components there. Should be enough to get us uh oh man, don't don't waste don't waste components. We need those. Alright, the shuttle has arrived for this thingy. And there we go. N is not enclosed. What are you talking about? Go 
Do I have to? Wait, where'd the where, where'd our camel go? All right, wait, what's going on here? Oh, uh, that lets animals through. Where's, uh... And where's, where's like regular animal fences then? Did we, do we lose, do we lose fences with this mod? Guess I could put a door there. I did put down a pen marker, it's right here. But I lost uh I lost animal fences. somewhere along the lines. Okay, so now I can grow hay grass. And camels should be able to eat hay grass, right? Vegetables, seeds, live plants, meals, processed food, liquor, and kibble. Yeah, should be able to eat uh, hay grass. Probably need to... I'm not going to be able to make that connection there. So we're just going to... Uh... We're just gonna do something janky like that. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's what's going on, uh, Sir Shaggy, because I'm using um, the old fence mod, so I can actually make ring ropes. <laughs> um, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll make do with what we got. All right, so camel should have food on the way. Camel will produce milk, which Babby can eat. Let's see if we can make some Babby food. Uh, let's make Babby food until we have X. Nope. Uh, 30 Babby food is fine. Drop on floor, shrink the radius so they don't go everywhere making it and who is on cooking outer monkey is our cook yeah, she's a decent cook has anyone else here ever dug a tunnel through a mountain just to brick it back up with a wire inside uh yeah Absolutely, I've done that. <laughs> it sucks though because for some like when it's a mountain, uh, bad guys won't try to like just destroy it. It takes like sappers to like dig through the mountain. But if it's a wall, even though it's essentially the exact same thing as a smooth wall, like any any Joe Schmo raider will come by and kick holes in your walls. Uh, do people drink camel milk? I think so. I think in the United States, it's like not FDA approved. Like you can't just like buy camel milk. Like you have to know a guy. Like it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a, like a black market, <laughs> unpasteurized camel milk uh, kind of thing. Pop 
Powder Monkey still does not want to sleep in this bed. You got you do, you gotta know a guy with a camel. Boopy, I remember hiking by some waterfalls in the Catskills. It was a popular route. Uh, the, the mother. <laughs> Uber wouldn't meet you there in the Catskills. Oof. Yeah, that sounds uh, like a like a tad bit of entitlement. Bought an alpaca once. I don't believe you. You're still alive. Uh, let's turn this development mode off. All right, so I'll tell you what, it's time for a wrestling match. So that means Wacker needs to go put on his wrestling gear. His wrestling gear. We're gonna have a match this time. It's gonna be the ultimate Wacker and the, uh, Brawn Mick slam face. Oh, we don't have weapons. Might have to drop some weapons. All right. Oh, it's gonna be a knife fight. We're gonna have knife fight city. Oh, new lovers. Oh no, Silver Samurai is trying to attract the ultimate whacker. Oh man. They are no longer in a relationship. Well, that's going to be weird because Powder Monkey is going to have his kid. Uh, so let's uh, let's drop a knife. And then. Uh, all right, now we're going to have the ritual. Actually, you know what? We might have to make the ultimate whacker and Powder Monkey fight for silver samurai's love oh man it's gonna be a battle for the heart <laughs> whacker it's it's your it's your it's your wrestling uh get up you're 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 from parts unknown you're you're a mysterious wrestler Got the knife. Can Ultimate Whack here take it away from her? Oh no! Ultimate Whack. Oh no! Ultimate Whacker with a Lariat clothesline. Uh, Powder Monkey loses. Unfortunately, that means she is no longer in love with Silver Samurai. She has lost a wrestling match, which is the ultimate test of love if you can't win a wrestling match you can't um be married to the commissioner so that means ultimate whacker <laughs> uh, okay so we we should we should probably uh move all this baby stuff right <laughs> um Okay, so let's uh let's put Powder Monkey here and let's reinstall the crib and reinstall the toy box and reinstall the race car. And then Whacker. <laughs> yeah commissioner only dates champions for sure all right so whacker you can uh go back into 
here and you can uh take off the, the burka and uh put the parka back on yeah there we go powder monkey having a sad I mean, if, if you think about it, clan society is basically professional wrestling. Like, clan society is just professional wrestling, but with mechs. Oh, yeah, I did make her fight pregnant. Oh, wow. That's, uh... That's kind of fucked. Now that I think about it, yeah, you're in your third trimester. <laughs> uh, RimWorld's a fun game. <laughs> well, I mean, this kid is definitely going to grow up to be a champion, though. All right, so we got an animal pen. We've got a uh, grass growing for them. Got food. We got baby food. Powder monkey is on a, a murderous rage, and she wants to kill Braun McSlab Beef. It's happened because she was cheated on by Silver Samurai. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna see if we can arrest her. And I think that we can um, just release her, right? Yeah, we could just release her. Okay, cool. Probably should have done that in the first place when Silver Samurai was on a Berserker Rage. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Apparently there was a fight. Could uh, just uh, rescue her, please. Powder monkey, uh, just just rest for a while. Yeah, just just chill out. You are turbo preggers. There is a pack of man-hunting arctic wolves. That actually sounds like a real dangerous threat for a change. Uh, let's get everybody inside. And dealt with. Pregnant in fight city. Just another day at the Waffle House, guys. Just another day at the Waffle House. We're gonna make some dog meat burgers. Baby food. Made from milk and corn. Man, that sounds delicious. Just some milk, corn, baby food. I would actually eat a big old spoonful of that. Man, Silver Samurai and Ultimate Whacker. Look at you guys making little hearts. The 
what's starving? Oh, somebody, uh, somebody needs to feed Powder Monkey. Uh, we'll never do anything like that. Okay. Uh, yeah. You could feed her some delicious protein shake. Not, not the gross protein shake. The, the, the one from the giant machine. Inspect the baby jeans. This kid's gonna have a strong immunity. Weakness to cold, tolerant to heat. He'll be aggressive, robust. Feel no pain. They have a massive forehead. Standard body, dark hair, normal skin color, bad at shooting, bad at art. That's what they're probably gonna be. Now nah, the quote, just another day at the Waffle House. Uh, I think mo I think that's a quote that's going to be applicable to a lot of situations. Well, the thing about art is that it doesn't matter if you're good at it or not. Like... It's, it's about expression, it's not about execution, right? You don't have to be good at it to, to make it. Yeah, we gotta raise the baby on the, on the side corn. All right, this camel is like uh, super, super hungry. And let's do this. Um We're going to make a stockpile zone over here. The only thing going in the stockpile zone is hay. And it will be critical. But in the meantime, what we might have to do is put a caravan hitching spot in the freezer. Uh, so we're gonna do this. And okay, now he's gonna go rope the camel. Camel's gonna eat some corn. Alright, so Camel has been fed. Uh, and did he grab that door and put it somewhere? Assuming he put it in here, right? Yeah. There we go. Camel has been fed. In the meantime, we'll get some hay grass growing here. Cookout is where the fights start. <laughs> I can see that. I live in a college town and cookout is very popular with the college kids. As I've uh, probably mentioned in previous streams, um, I met my wife at our local Waffle House. That's a, that's a tale as old as time. Uh, and the Waffle House that I met my wife at, they actually tore it down. They built another one across the street. Oh, uh, she's on a Berserker Rage again. Uh, Caliph, 
if you could uh can uh okay apparently uh if you just run away my dude Maybe she'll just get over it. Can we not, um... Mad Emu. Took care of itself. She is malnourished. Seriously, can, can we not arrest her? I can melee attack her, but I can't, I can't arrest her. Wingless Raven, you met your wife outside of a uh, gaming store throwing up. Nice. Uh, okay. I kind of have have to just hope that that she will survive this because she is malnutritioned, getting ready to have a kid. I'm having trouble ke keeping up with this story, but it looks like a wild one, Samurai. I'm afraid that she's not going to come out of this. Like, she's just got to beat up something until... All right, I really hate to do this, guys. Neither of these guys has actual weapons. Okay. She's in she's in bad shape. But she's not in any threat of dying at this point. Okay, Samurai, let's get you in here. And let's go ahead and crank her up to Glitter World Medicine. Why is he not using... There we go. Now he's using medicine. Alright, can we not feed her? Already feeding, okay. Feed her some milk. 
Okay, she's got food, she's got sleep. Her mood is all fucked. But... All right. An AMC Mercedes sounds like an engineering nightmare. Nah, the AMCs are freaking stacked, dude. Tell you what, let's put uh, Powder Monkey on focus on bed rest. Uh, apparently, our camel was pregnant. And our camel also ate all of our hay grass. Oh, AMG, not AMC. You are correct. <laughs> I, I I get the joke now. Oh, we're out of wood for these. Is anybody else okay at cooking? Whacker's okay at cooking. You know what? Braun makes slab beef. He can be a, a temporary cook. Chop up all these aminals. Well, I mean, his his name is Braun makes slab beef, so he has to he has to understand meat. They are big meaty men slapping meat. Now, the other question is, is anybody good at growing other than Powder Monkey? Also, uh, Ron McSlab Beef. She's on a tantrum because she was cheated on. She's going to kick holes and shit. She is, she is, man, she is just, she, she mad. Hell hath no fury. All right, just get back to get back to chilling out in bed. We've self-tamed an ostrich. Which, uh, I believe lay eggs, which is cool. All right, so we got some got some camels, got an ostrich. Monkey, come on. It, it, come back to stop kicking her fucking jerk <laughs> Walker's just running around knee striking her just want to see what happens when you give birth to a kid like this, this doesn't have to be like nightmare does it uh, 
Oh no. Man, this game is sad. Uh, okay. Uh, what happened, Lord Grimos, is Powder Monkey uh, did not have a baby. She had a miscarriage, which is really sad, especially if you've ever gone through that in life. I would not wish that on anybody. Um, that's, a, that's a really sad moment in anyone's life. Even though this is a video game and it didn't really happen and they're just pixels and electrons and, and neutrons and things traveling across the internet, it's still pretty fucking sad, so... Part of it was because she was on a mental break and refused to like rest. We had to beat her up to take her back to bed. Honestly, that's the thing that I really dislike about uh, this last DLC is introducing kids. Cause that's like, I don't know, like, I'm cool with most stuff, even because as long as it's fake, I, I can I can respect that it's fake. There's some stuff that like even if it's fake, I'm I'm still a little squidgy about, and that's kind of one of them. I don't know, not a fan. So yeah, weird way to to close out a stream, I think. Powder Monkey's had a bad one. She's had a bad one for sure. She got cheated on. She got knocked up, then she got cheated on. Then she went on a absolute mental uh, breakdown. Ran off into the woods, nearly froze to death, nearly starved to death. We had to beat her up to bring her home to heal her. She's she's not having a good day. She's got a double catharsis though. <laughs> Wacker just keeps randomly knee striking her in the in the face. You blame the executive producer for messing with the flow of time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. We, we did put Vince Russo in charge of the storyline. <laughs> there you go, Poopy. Always looking on the bright side. That's what, that's what I like about you. Always looking on the bright side. All right, so we're gonna have another Monday Nitra. We're gonna we're gonna end the stream tonight on a uh, on a banger. Oh wait, the Ultimate Whacker has to get the costume first. This time, the Ultimate Whacker. And the uh, brawn McSlab beef. 
are gonna settle their differences in the squared circle. In a knife match. Oh, Braun got the knife first. Can Wacker get it away from? Oh, oh, Wacker. Wacker with a with a cheap shot. Wacker with a drop kick toe hold submission. We had a good Monday Nitro. Nobody wanted to join though. Oh, Wacker's actually legitimately hurt. Uh, you could uh, yeah, go get some rest. You take off your wrestling gear later. Well, pretzel. The the reason that we're allowing uh, knives and morning stars is because um, I can't find a mod that lets me use <laughs> uh, steel chairs. All right, so they both have medicine enabled. Yeah, the animals uh, still need to be fed. Tell you what, we got plenty of rice. What we're going to do is we're going to feed them corn. Come and get it, guys. Side corn for everybody. Hospitality for an ally. They want to learn about other cultures and they want to stay here for 16 days. Don't think so. I tell you, this has been a strange playthrough. Strange playthrough for sure. Probably one of the weirdest ones I've done. Wacker can uh, take off his wrestling gear now. Yeah, the only way you're learning about this culture is by uh, jumping off the top turnbuckle or a uh, crossbody. It's the only way you're going to learn. And 
Oh man, he got cracked in the spine. The mace. Lost some fingers. Man, he had a bad one. So I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, and we talked about it a little bit during the stream, but I'll go ahead and mention it again as we close up on the stream today. So um, a few weeks ago, uh, turns out, was my one-year anniversary of doing Cooking on the Rim, a full 52 episodes of the show, uh, which is pretty cool and makes me feel like I want to do some sort of celebration. So the next playthrough I do is going to be the Ox Goes Camping. Um, and, uh, it's going to be one of those like big colonies where I start with 52 colonists, one for every episode. I know that's real clever. No one ever thought of that before. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to try to fill 52 slots with people who want to get their names in game. And of course we have the wheel of names, which is jam packed full of names right now. So if you'd like to be in. Go ahead and redeem name and game if you haven't already. And of course, if you're not a member of the Ox, you can join the Ox. And I actually have a sub uh, thread under the building games thread. So if you want to uh, uh, add to that, you can. Durberger is not currently on the list because he's actually in the game. Let's get Durberger on the list here. UNC Samurai Lord Grimos Pretzel Bomber. I always spelled pretzel wrong there. All right, let's say there. Send the wheel back. And uh, I think with with all the the scumming that we've done in uh, today's episode, this the the wrestling uh, colony might go on hold for a little while. And I think next week will be the start of the Ox Goes Camping. Should be a fun one. Uh, like I say, I know a lot of people have done uh, big old colonies. Uh, even in Legion, you know, it started with Tex, of course, did uh, the Black Pants Legion uh, go off into the woods. And then I know that um, uh, Hosfe uh, did, a, did a real big colony, very similar. Many other uh, RimWorld content creators have done something similar with a giant colony full of everybody. But uh, I'm also going to do it because uh, why would I come up with anything unique? I could just steal everyone else's ideas it's the way she goes right it's how it's how uh it's how showbiz works so we'll do something like that yeah samurai i think it's gonna be fine um because i mean just looking at the 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 wheel now there's probably not 52 people on that list and if there is i'll make some priorities it'll be all right I think it'll be all right. Like, say, if we get above 52, then I'll start uh, adding people to, like, animals and stuff as well. I've done a, I've done a few tests to see if I could get it to work, and it's not too bad. The lag isn't too bad. uh confessions yeah if you want to if you want to get a name in that's different from your current username that's fine i'll take requests let's 
So how do you how do you want your name in the game? Tankerous Camel. Duly noted. I'm just gonna do some some quick maths. Yeah, we got we got right around fifty here, so that should be fine. Should be fine. And the, uh, is that an L or an R? We'll just copy and paste. How about that? Probably just start copying and pasting more often. All right. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, um, it's a little early, but I think that we're at a pretty good stopping point here for the night. And I went a little over last week, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave you with one more word from our sponsors, and uh, we'll see you next week. Next week, we'll we'll do the uh, the big old camping excursion. What could possibly go wrong? You guys have a good one. Hey, kids, do you like breakfast? Yeah. yeah! Well, you're gonna love self heating maple bacon breakfast logs from Randy Checkers. Cool. cool! That's right, kids. Just crack my log like a glow stick and watch the magic happen. Delicious breakfast perfectly heated in less than 30 seconds. Move over, Jimmy Dean. There's a new sausage chef in town, and his name, Randy Checkers. Warning, Randy Checkers maple bacon breakfast logs contain substances known to cause cancer in the state of California and is part of a balanced breakfast. Randy Checkers maple bacon breakfast logs, hell yeah!